hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you uh, when the enemy character shoot arrows at me if i stay still i will get hit easy so if i keep running it will be harder for the enemy to hit me so that's what i'm going to cover today and as always this episode is also sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so according to my current implementation unless i unless there is some barrier between uh, my character and the anime character i have no chance of um, dodging an arrow so even if I run the arrow hits so I'm going to solve this problem today okay Let's open enemy character. Human character. Yeah, and let's open the AI as well. So where do I Where is the shoot arrow? Right. This task is the shoot arrow. And here I do an AI attack. But the problem is for the AI attack. Now I'll show you the AI attack. This is for the melee attack. And this is for the arrow shooting so here I use this get target function to get the targeting location so for the ch human I just return the locked enemies the current location okay so I'll slightly modify this get target function for the enemy let's open enemy character have i already implemented override it here let's check no i haven't so let me find the function right here i have it get we really need a way to search these functions here we have get target but since this is a function I can't add a delay here therefore mm, let's do something like this I'll promote this to a variable mm. no I have the locked enemy get let's get locked enemy so I should be able to do this only if I have a valid locked enemy so therefore I'll do a is valid node here and not if it is not valid I'll just use the parent function if it is valid I'll get velos velocity of that character and then 
I'll get this one actually that returns the current location get actor location and I'll add this location of, with this velocity city uh, with a multiplier like this let's say 40 so if I am moving then my enemy will be targeting uh, somewhat behind like uh, opposite direction in my velocity add another return node so what I'm trying to do is if I'm running to left side and I should be able to evade the arrow because enemy will be targeting behind me all right let's see how it works <gasps> let's go to the vision area of the character <gasps> right now he start to shoot at us when I stay still I get hit but when I run okay that's <gasps> too much that difference is too much so let's decrease this one to how about minus one <gasps> let's see This time let's run. Mm, no, still the difference is too much. Maybe let's print the velocity so that we can have a better idea. how much we should use here all right actually yeah no need to do that because I already know the maximum velocity we can check it here max movement speed or something let's see yeah, max work speed it's 600 so therefore I think we should use something like minus 0 0 0.01 well 6 points would not be enough 0 3 Well, I tested off the recording, but it seems this is not enough. So let's try point eight. Well, that's not correct. And also the arrow hit location is wrong. Okay, it seems point one works, but I have a little problem. 
So this is the problem actually. Uh, even if the arrow flies way beyond the character's borders, I get hit like that. See? Arrow is somewhere else, but I still get hit. So let's fix that problem. This is the shoot arrow. This is where I call fire event for the of the arrow and here I do the damage like this on arrow hit based on on arrow hit event so first I have increased this was earlier 50 I have increased it to 500 and the next thing is this is where I call on arrow hit on the target um, the hit object so in this case the ch human so let's see okay here we get the call this get hit macro and we get this closest socket and attach the arrow to that socket but before doing that I think we should check the distance between the closest socket and the arrow hit location so let's get the distance from hit location to this location I think I am returning the socket location yeah correct correct and then let's add a branch like this if this value is wait I need some space otherwise it will look messy right if this value is smaller than What should be the better value? Let's try 30. 30 we will do this. Otherwise we will just destroy this arrow. Set lifespan. point one and I should do this before calling this get hit macro like this okay now let's see what happens He heard my footsteps, now he's checking on me and detected. Okay, I still get hit. What happens when I run? Okay, I don't get hit. Alright. Let's stay now. Okay, then I get it. <gasps> Alright, I think that completes my objective. Yeah.
and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below